Hey guys, what's up? Alex Scott here with Concertdini.com. Thanks so much for checking out another gear review. Today we're taking a look at the Rode M5 cardioid condenser microphone. Now, this adorable little guy is a great example of not having to pay a ton of money to get a ton of quality. Rode is an Australian company. Uh, they've been making mics for years and years and years, and I've always thought of them as the leader in, you know, you need a good sounding mic, you don't have a ton of money to spend, get a Rode. You know, they're very famous for the NT1A, which is a mic that costs, I think, 200 or $250, and is one of the best vocal condensers out there for the money. Um, and it's a large diaphragm condenser, and it can be a little bit bright sometimes, uh, especially depending on the singer, but in terms of quality, it's just fantastic. It's one of the best sounding mics in that price point um, I had ever heard uh, the first time I heard one, and still think so to this day. So the M5, this guy, is kind of, uh, you know, goes along with that theme. You can pick up a pair of these for $199, brand new, um, and they are really good, high quality, just basic pencil condensers. Um, they are super transparent, they're super, super detailed, um, so they're really excellent for capturing really accurate recordings of like acoustic instruments. Um, I actually use mine on snare drum because they can also handle really high SPLs, which is great, um, and they bring a ton of detail to snare. They just really help make it pop in the top end, um, but I will also absolutely pull these out when I need to do a really critical like acoustic guitar recording, piano recording, something where I just want to really neutrally represent the instrument and the player and the space, um, these really excel at that. So let's go ahead and move into the tracking room and take a listen to this guy and see how he sounds. Okay, guys, so there you go. The Rode M5 Cardioid Pencil Condenser. Um, you know, again, just such a detailed mic, such an accurate sounding mic. It's really just flat and neutral and represents exactly what you put into it. You know, you put in a great sounding acoustic guitar, out the other end comes great sounding acoustic guitar. It's, it's really that simple. You know, there's a lot of guys who really love like character mics and tube mics and vintage mics and all this kind of stuff. And those are great uh, for certain situations when you want to capture vibe like that. You know, there's really nothing else that's going to do that for you. But I am a firm believer in having a lot of different tools that can do a lot of different things. Because I do such varied work where one day I have a, a local band in recording a record, and then the next day uh, I might be doing sound effects for a video game, I need to have a lot of different tools at my disposal with a lot of different sonic characteristics. And this definitely fits into that ultra clean, ultra transparent camp um, of gear. And it's, you know, it does what it does beautifully. It's, you know, there's no switches, there's no knobs, there's no filters or anything, which some people might see as a detriment. But what it says to me is that Rode really packed every ounce of value they can uh, or they could into the circuit and the diaphragm because they haven't added switches. It doesn't come with a big silly case. Uh, you know, it comes in a little cardboard box. And, you know, again, I really like that. It means that Rode has taken all of their R&D and all their focus and all the money that goes into the product and put it into what matters, which is having a great, you know, neutral sounding diaphragm and really clean, simple circuitry leading from there to your cable. And, you know, yeah, it just, it, it's reassuring to me when a company does something like that because I know that I'm getting the best possible quality in the product itself for the money. 
But what do you guys think of this mic? Do you own one? Have you used one? Uh, do you like Rode mics in general? Do you find them to be anything you don't like? Uh, please let us know in the comments down below. We'd really appreciate hearing from you. And uh, yeah, feel free to join that conversation. Uh, again, my name is Alex Scott with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for watching this review. Hope you dug it. And we will see you in the next one.